Hi guys, Lacey here. Welcome back to my channel. I am a premier leader with Perfectly Posh and the team leader of the Polka Dot Dolls. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about another one of my favorite survival kits. You know I love my survival kits. But today I'm going to talk to you about my roller derby survival kit. In case you didn't know, I play roller derby for our local team, the Poison Apples. That's me, Lucille Brawl. I have always been a posh believer. I fell in love with them the first time I used them. But let me tell you, some of these posh products are the only thing that has gotten me so far into the season with the poison apples. So today I wanted to talk to you about some of my favorites that I call my roller derby survival kit. First, the gender bender chunk. Gender bender is one of our best sellers for multiple reasons. Everybody loves it. It's a charcoal bar. It's a black bar. This is great for a lot of things. Charcoal can absorb up to a thousand times its own weight. So it's good for uh, like fish and garlic smell. It's good for um, grease. It's good for, and that's just aside from like washing yourself because this is so gentle. This is a Shea Butter Base Bar. It's wonderful. It's a very moisturizing, squeaky clean. My husband loves this one. It's got a very neutral, gender neutral scent, hence the name Gender Bender. But what I love about it is that it's also great for getting blood out of your clothes. And anyone who plays roller derby knows, see, that little baby right there? Roller derby, there's blood in roller derby. And this gets this out of your jerseys. So that's my first, this is also great for your gear, for your, um, your knee pads and your elbow pads and your wrist guards. Just wet the bar, rub the bar down on the back of your pads and then wet a towel and do the same, you can do the same thing with blood. Um, just wipe it directly, get it wet, rub it directly on the stain, get a towel or a washcloth wet, rub it, scrub it out. And it will also help get that smell, the smell, you know the smell I'm talking about, out of your gear. So that is number one on my list. Number two is, these are my favorite, truly. These are part of the Skin Sticks line, which as I always say are my favorite lines, but these are the giant Skin Sticks. And oh baby, I'm so glad these are giant. So first is the hot pepper shebang stick, and the second is the just chilling stick. So this is a very powerful hot pepper oil and essential oil. So it doesn't have much of a scent. It's really light. You rub it directly on. So this is something I grab every single day after practice. I'm grabbing one or the other, and sometimes even before practice to help me make it through practice if I'm still sore from the practice before. So this one gets really hot. This one gets really cold. So it just depends on what you're in the mood for. To me, I like, after practice, I like the heat. After practice, I like this. To me, I'm a, I'm a person that prefers a, a heating pad over an ice pack. So I like the soothing nature of heat. So if I've got my back's really sore or my shoulders are sore, I will grab this after practice and put on, and it will help soothe those muscles for me to be able to get home. But now, before practice, if I'm still sore from the practice before, like today I have practice and I'm still sore from practice on Tuesday, before practice I'm gonna grab the Just Chilling Stick. It gets cold, it gets really refreshing, so that I feel like that helps me stay not so hot during practice. It also eases those sore muscles. So I'm gonna rub my back and my shoulders down on this before practice. Now what I will say that I've noticed is these skin sticks the higher your body temperature is, the better they seem to work. So using them before a workout or before a practice or a bout, you're going to get a lot better. Or like right after practice when you're still really warm, you're going to notice that a lot more. Whereas tomorrow morning, maybe I wake up sore, I'm going to grab it first thing and put it on. And I'm going to maybe wrap a blanket around me or throw on a cardigan or hop in the shower even and let the steam heat up because the warmer my body temperature is, the colder or the warmer these are going to get. But these are an absolute must. I carry one of each of these in my derby bag. I keep them both on my nightstand. I keep them in my bathroom. These are an absolute must for me. I don't think I can make it through the season without them. So my next product, you know how they say preventative medicine is the best medicine? Well, this is my form of preventative medicine. Every single day when I come home from practice, every night, I throw this in my bathtub. These are the Muscle Through Bath Salts. 
So these are soothe sore, overworked muscles, and relaxing magnesium salts, and a calming rosemary fragrance. So there's not much of a scent at all. So if you are turned off by the thought of rosemary, it's barely anything at all. It's just a very relaxing scent. You can see here it comes with a little scoop, and they're just kind of gray tinted. It doesn't have much of a fragrance. So you can scoop one to two scoops depending on how sore you are or the size of your bathtub. I do this every single night after practice. I I don't, because to me, they will work if you're already sore. If you don't take one after the practice and you wake up the next day and you feel like I can't move, this is one you're going to grab. But I, in my experience, if I do these before I go to bed, after practice, then I'm way less sore the next day because it's really relaxed my muscles and helped my muscles loosen up. Before we go to sleep and then get all locked up while I'm sleeping. This product is another one of our skin sticks. This is the healer stick. This is the very first product that ever existed and it is still around today because it is that amazing. This is kind of like the duct tape of the posh world. This is good for everything from scars, burns, stretch marks, sunburns, eczema, psoriasis, chapped lips, dry skin of any kind, you name it, this bad boy is what you want. But I prefer, in derby anyway, this is my rink rash go-to. Keep one of these in my derby bag. If I end up with rink rash, because we all have, I grab this and it heals it in no time flat. And this, this is the only reason that I'm not afraid of getting horrible rink rash. So I love this. It's also got a very um, orange essential oil, which is a topical use for pain. It will help with pain. And it's really good for old tattoos and new tattoos, and it's good for everything. But if you're a derby girl, this is a must in your arsenal. And lastly, this is the infamous Hips Don't Lie body cream. If you are new to Posh and you don't know the pandemonium that came along with Hips Don't Lie, this, any derby girl, regardless of your shape or size, you need this. Because we all know those teensy tiny derby shorts can sometimes not be that flattering. This is a very, very caffeinated body cream with kupuaku oil, which is way stronger than actual coffee. This will help remove cellulite. It will tighten and smooth skin. So that way, when you put on those derby shorts, you don't look in the mirror and think, how am I ever going to play a bout in this? Like you are not ever going to be distracted about the way you look when you skate by people. This has got you covered. If you're in derby shorts, you need the hips don't lie. And the best part about this survival pack here is these are six products. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. And because Posh is five, five, get one free, if you go and buy my whole roll of derby survival kit, you're going to get your gender bender chunk for free. So I will have my link in the description of this video. You can hop over and take a look around and grab your own roll of derby survival kit. If you design your own, and you find another product that you feel like really works in your derby life, please let me know about it because I would love to add it to mine. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. And otherwise, I'll see you guys soon.